Hey, I'm Tyler. In this video, we're going to do a tease chemistry practice question on a really high priority topic. We're going to look at atoms, cations, anions, protons, and electrons. And I can pretty much guarantee that you'll see a question on these topics when you take the tease. So, here it is. Choose the number of subatomic particles that would be found in a cation. And then we have four choices. Take a quick look at them. We'll solve this step by step, and I'll teach you all the stuff that you need to know along the way. Now, first off, this question is asking about a cation. What's that? Let's talk about some background information. So, atoms can have different electrical charges. Some atoms have no charge or zero charge. Some atoms have a positive charge, and some atoms have a negative charge. Now, there are some names that you should know for these different kinds of atoms. If something has no charge or zero charge, we say it's neutral. If an atom has a charge, you can call it an ion. It doesn't matter if it's a positive charge or a negative charge. If an atom has a charge, you can call it an ion. And then we have some special words for positive and negative ions. A negative ion is called an anion, and a positive ion is called a cation. Now, here's a great way to remember that cations are positive ions. Cats have paws, and cations are positive. Yeah, I, I know it's pretty dumb, but trust me, you're never going to forget that cations are positive. So going back to the question here, we have to choose the number of subatomic particles that would be found in a cation. So we're looking for a cation. In other words, we're looking for an atom with a positive charge. Now, if we look over the answer choices, they all have different numbers of subatomic particles. These are protons, neutrons, and electrons. The subatomic particles are the tiny pieces that make up atoms. Now remember, we're looking for an atom with a positive charge, a cation. And when it comes to charge, the balance of protons and electrons tells you what electrical charge an atom has. So we're going to be focusing on the number of protons and electrons in each of these choices. Here's how this works. First off, protons have a positive charge and electrons have a negative charge. Now for net charge, it all comes down to one thing, and that's right here. If you have the same number of protons and electrons, the charges cancel out. Take a look at this diagram here. Let's say we've got an atom with three protons and three electrons. They have opposite charges, positive and negative, and we have the same number of each. So, their charges are going to cancel out totally, and we'll be left with an atom that has zero net charge. It's neutral. Now, what about this situation here? What if we have an atom with three protons and four electrons? What's going to cancel out here? Well, three of the protons and three of the electrons will cancel out, three and three. But check it out. There will be one extra electron that's not canceled out. Now, electrons have a negative charge, so we'll have one extra negative charge in the atom. And that means that the atom will have a negative charge and it will be a negative ion. Here's another situation. What if an atom has three protons and two electrons? What's going to happen then? Well, two protons and two electrons are going to cancel out and we're going to be left with one proton that's not canceled out. That's going to give us an extra positive charge because protons are positive. So, 
the atom is going to have a positive charge and it will be a positive ion. And of course, we can use our special ion names here. The negative ion, we can call that an anion, and the positive ion, we can call that a cation. Going back to the question here, we need to find the subatomic particles that would be found in a cation. And what are we going to be looking for? Well, a cation will have more protons than electrons. That's what's going to give us the extra positive charge to give us a positive ion. So let's, let's look through the answer choices at the number of protons and electrons. Choice A, 9 protons and 10 electrons. Now, in this case, we have more electrons, so we're going to have more negative charge, so we're going to have a negative ion or an anion. Now, cross it off. B, 10 protons, 10 electrons. Nope, that's equal numbers, which means they totally cancel out. We're going to be left with a neutral atom, an atom with zero charge, not what we're looking for. B, ah, 12 protons, 10 electrons. Okay, that's more protons than electrons. We have extra positive charge. It's not going to get canceled out. So it looks like we have a positive ion or a cation. That's probably the right answer. And finally, just to be safe, We'll take a look at D, 18 protons, 18 electrons, ah, cross it off. Equal number, zero charge, neutral. Not what we're looking for. And so that means that definitely C is the answer. A cation will have more protons than electrons, so that there's extra positive charge. Now, let's review everything about this that you should study. But first, real quick, can you feel yourself learning with this video? Can you, can you see how these videos are different from other resources where they just throw a bunch of complicated jargon at you, complicated definitions? I'm really trying to help you learn step by step and patiently. That's what's going to help you ace the T's. And if you like how I teach, you can get more free resources. You can get my full course at teasinoneday.com. Check it out. Okay, so here's a summary of the stuff you should know. First, atoms can have different electrical charges. An atom with no charge or zero charge, we call that neutral. Atoms that have a charge are called ions, and negative ions are called anions, positive ions are called cations. Now, the balance of protons and electrons tells you what electrical charge an atom has. If you have the same number of protons and electrons, the charges cancel out. If you have more protons than electrons, you have a positive ion or a cation. And if you have more electrons than protons, you have a negative ion or an anion. Okay, I really hope that helps and I hope that you can feel yourself learning. If you like how I teach, check out my website at teasinoneday.com. Best of luck on the tease.